Hello, job seekers, career changers, and career finders. My name is Cheryl Nathaniel, and this is my channel, Careers Loading, where we talk about resume design, uh, ways to improve your resume, job search tips, applicant tracking systems, and anything that will make your resume pop to the top of any applicant tracking system so you can get that much wanted interview for the job that you so desire. And today we are talking about how to add Jobalytics to your um, toolbar in Chrome, which will help you exponentially in getting selected in applicant tracking systems. But before we actually get into the tutorial, I want to go over a couple of definitions with you, just in case you're not as familiar with the terms. The first one, of course, being Jobalytics itself. What is Jobalytics? Jobalytics is a tool that allows you to optimize keywords in your resume. So if you're applying for any particular job, you can upload your resume to Jobalytics, go to the job search engine that you are working in and compare your resume to the, to the um, qualifications of that particular job. So not only does Jobalytics help you optimize keywords so that your resume will be re recognized in applicant tracking systems, it also gives you a percentage of how closely your resume matches the particular job that you're going for. So it's a very vital tool to help you really, really boost your, um, your resume for any particular job that you are, are looking to get because we know the job market is always competitive. Yes, jobs are up. Yes, there are plenty of jobs available now because of work from home but you still need to make sure you're making the best impression possible uh, to get your, your resume noticed in applicant tracking systems, which is the next term, applicant tracking systems, mostly known as ATS. If you've ever applied for a job in recent times, then you have encountered this in the form of something called ISOMS, Workday, uh, Tilio. They have so many different ones that you go through when you apply for jobs online. So these are applicant tracking systems. And if your job does not match what they're looking for, so an applicant tracking system is an algorithm that matches pattern for pattern or keyword for keyword. So it's really important to become familiar with that term because as we apply for jobs now, most companies, and I've worked for a Fortune 500 company as a training manager and for five years as a hiring manager um, in, in former years, and I can guarantee you that your application is running through one of those type of um, algorithmic systems. So this is what this tutorial is about. So those are two terms you definitely need to know what Jobalytics is and what an applicant tracking system is and what it does. So without further ado, let's get into the actual tutorial. So as you can see, you want to start with Google just a, a regular old Google search. Now, mind you, this is for people who use Google and Chrome extensions for the most part. So once you get to Google, you're going to type in jobalytics.co. That's J-O-B-A-L-Y-T-I-C-S dot C-O. And it'll be running across the screen below. And it'll come up. It should be the first option selected. Once you select it, it's going to take you to the Jobalytics site. And up in the upper corner, you're going to see Add to Chrome. It's free. It will never cost you anything. So you'll just need to go ahead and click that, um, that button to add the extension to Chrome. And it's really simple to use. We'll walk through the steps in a minute. I'll just give my screen time to catch up with me but once you go to any job search career builder.com indeed.com muster.com linkedin and you pull up the job that you're looking for once you have this extension installed you can click upload new resume and upload your resume and it's going to give you a percentage of how close you how closely your resume matches to the job that you're applying for I'm gonna tell you right now, anything less than 75% is probably gonna be stored in that ATS's um, application system. 
resume system and when another job fits better they may pull it they may not pull it so it's really important that you're making sure your match is 75 percent or higher and the way you do this is once you put your resume into jobalytics and you compare it to the job you're wanting to apply for it's going to give you a percentage and jobalytics is going to show you what words that already match the job description and what words you need to add to it that are missing from your resume. And this is when you need to take your resume down, write down those keywords that Jobalytics said was missing and find a way to incorporate those particular words into your resume. Once you do that, save the resume, upload it back to Jobalytics, go back to the job you're applying for to see if you have a better match. Yes, it, it does take some time, but if you really, really want to go for the job you want in the pay range that you want, it's critical that you take the time to take these extra steps. So that is my tutorial today on how to add Jobalytics to Google basically if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please share it with someone who may be searching for a job and please subscribe thank you so much for watching until the next time i'm cheryl renee and this is careers loading